It's your boy DJ Academics, and now there's a popular video going around, and it depicts the death of a uh, 25-year-old St. Louis man, Kajim Powell. If you want to check it out, if you haven't seen it, the link is in the description. But a lot of people have asked me, hey, what do you think about this? What do you, what do you think about this whole video? It's another situation of the cops going crazy. Now, I've kind of fell back a little bit, at least talking about the Ferguson situation, because I've seen people are kind of irrational. Most people, and definitely black people, all these Negroes, there. No one wants to look at the uh, look at the situation for what it is. People are too emotionally invested into it. They they already have other agendas at hand. They can't really rationalize or even reason. So when people, it, it's like an angry mob. If an angry mob marches to town to get somebody, even if it's not what they think, they don't even want to hear anything otherwise. And not to say it's a defense for anyone. But people don't want to hear anything that doesn't go with their line of thinking. Now, first and foremost, people are talking about they want justice in the Mike Brown situation. And I'm going to say clearly now, this situation that I'm going to talk about, the uh, Kajim Powell, has nothing to do with Mike Brown. Completely separate. Nothing to do with Mike Brown. For all we know, Mike Brown is actually, at least in that confrontation with the police, he was surrendering and he got gunned down and executed. That's what we, we are told or that's what allegedly happened. We don't fully know the facts yet. In this Kajim Powell situation, it's obviously different circumstances. So they're two separate situations. Now, a lot of people, at least for this Kajim Powell, because we have video of it, people are saying, yo, they gunned down another one of us. How could they do this? They're just killing all of us. And I'm going to tell you that I'm not that surprised that this happened. The thing is, when I see situations like this, I look at it and I say, yo, if I was... Someone that was a armed citizen that was licensed to carry and he did that, I would have probably shot him myself. So how the fuck can I get on the cops if they shot him? Now, the thing is, is preservation of life. I've been told all you guys this. That's the reason why I can't, I can never feel sorry for someone that who's an idiot. If you get yourself killed or if you kill yourself or something like that, you're telling me that you weren't enabled with the basic survival skills to even be on this earth. The survival of the fittest. It's Darwinism. Come on. We all know this. Now this individual here. At least in the video. And I'm only going from what I see in the video. When I see in um, at least official news reports. So CNN whatever. It said. And, and I saw this individual. Apparently he was probably enraged by the Mike Brown situation. Maybe this was his way of becoming a martyr. Something like that. But he took two cans of soda or whatever from a convenience store. Laid it on the sidewalk. He waited for the cops to come. Once the cops came, apparently he had his hand in his pocket for a little bit, but they were trying to at least subdue him or at least confront him. Now, if you're dealing with the police and you know they're armed, you are not, as I said, preservation of life. Don't ask me to feel sorry for you when you're wishing for your own death. He's approaching the police while they're trying to tell him to stop, turn around, take your hands out of your pocket. He's doing nothing. He's not yielding to directions. And if someone has a gun trained on you, you should probably do that. Come on now. At least do that shit. Now, it's reported that he had a knife in his hand or his pocket. And he was approaching the cops. And when he got a little bit close or even remotely close, they gunned him down. Now, he got shot multiple times, several times, actually. And people are outraged at a lot of things. Why did they have to shoot him? Well, if I'm a citizen and, and I'm just only going by reports, so if, if the reports are wrong, I'll apologize. But the, the reports seem like they are what they are. Reportedly, he had a knife. He was going at the cops, and they shot him down. If someone was doing that to me, I'll shoot him. So why wouldn't the cops shoot him? Now, he's shouting out to the cops, shoot me. If you're shouting out, shoot me, and you're running at the cops with a, perceivably a weapon, and you get shot, why the fuck would we be mad? Listen, man. You go do that dumb shit, you go at the cops with a weapon, and then you get shot? Ugh, nigga, that's, that's one plus one, it's equal two. Nigga, we're going to pour out some liquor for you, we're going to say keep it moving. But now, people, and that's, that's what I'm saying, that because of this Mike Brown situation, and everyone's tying every police case right now, or police brutality possible case to Mike Brown, they can't rationalize. Everyone's like, oh, well, well, he, they didn't have to shoot him that many times. They didn't have to they didn't have to kill him. They should use a taser. Well, for people are saying who they should use a taser, are we thinking about this logically? If someone's approaching an officer, if you don't know, a taser isn't 100% accurate. 
Number one, if you hit him, he might not immediately go down. He's not immediately disabled. His his um um motor functions isn't immediately uh disabled that he can't do anything. If he's a couple feet within you and he's running at you with a knife, you could hit him with it and he could still stab you and then he could then go down. So you're saying the cop should take a stab wound because this guy life is just way more important than them getting stabbed. Really? R- really? As I said, don't right now we're in a very anti-cop mode and I'm not going to lie. I don't like the police either. I've admitted that. I am not a big fan of the police. But I know right is right and wrong is wrong. There has to be a middle ground to this whole thing. There has to be. You're going to tell me that right now the cops are just this evil thing and it's just fuck the cops. And I got to address that as well because no, there's two things I think need to happen. And I think this Mike Brown situation is more than it's more is bigger than a racial issue. It's really about police brutality, which has been going on for a long time. There has to be some type of middle ground for us to coexist in this society with the police. Number one, the police has to have more respect and treat its citizens better. They can't assume most people are criminals, thus being uh, overly aggressive, thus being quick to violence or even being trigger happy. The guy, Darren Wilson in the Michael Brown case, he's trigger happy. That's what it seems. He seems like he's a trigger happy guy. Now, in this situation, uh, I'm not going to say these guys seem trigger happy. I would have probably shot him, too. Maybe they shouldn't have shot him that many times, but they would have probably got shot, too. So that's what it is. But for a lot of people who are saying, fuck the cops, and that's another thing I've always said. When you say fuck the cops, that's a very serious thing you're saying, right? If you're saying fuck the cops, I feel you're a hype beast. And I'm going to tell you why I feel you're a hype beast. Because you're saying fuck the cops, you're willing to do nothing about it. Fuck the cops, right? Okay. If you really meant fuck the cops, you would arm up, you would gear up, and then you would actually go and fuck up the cops. That's how you say fuck the cops. When you just say, oh, fuck the cops, that's not a solution. I'm about getting solutions. How are we going to change this? How are we going to change young, unarmed black men getting gunned down? And that's why I'm talking about Michael Brown is separate from this situation. We have one guy who was reportedly armed. Michael Brown was unarmed. Two different situations. Completely two different situations. So how could we prevent unarmed black men from getting gunned down? That's my focus. So saying fuck the cops without any plan of action is like, what? If, if you're going to say, okay, fuck the cops, I'm about to get my whole squad and we're about to go fuck the cops up. Okay, you, that's a plan. You're going to do what you are going to do. But just to say fuck the cops makes no sense. You don't hear the terrorists saying, you never hear terrorists say, uh, Fuck America. And then they just keep going about their daily business. No, they're fucking trying to blow up buildings. They're trying to blow up planes. They're killing Americans. We see it. When they say fuck American or fuck America, they really mean it. So when you say fuck the cops and you do nothing or or you're um, encouraging rioting, but you're not doing it, it's fucking ridiculous. But as I said, there has to be some type of middle ground here. The guy, it's unfortunate that he got killed. We got to separate emotion from a lot of this shit going on. We have to. If we don't separate emotion from what's going on, because this is another popular misconception. You have to be, and that's what I'm saying with the fuck the cops thing. You have to be extreme or not. What are you doing? You can't be halfway extreme. When you say you want justice, you want the name, you want, like you're about to do something to this particular cop. Like you're about to go get justice. Go do it. Don't say, don't say we want justice or you want the cop or you want to do all, or you want to uh, be violent and go riot and then say, oh, 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 could you indict him, please? Could you, uh, could you now charge him? No. If you believe in the system and you're waiting for him to get charged, you're you have to wait for the investigation to be done. You're not privy to the inner details of the, the, the situation. Now, do I feel he should get charged with this, with, with all the the and I won't say facts with everything we know now. If it went down as it did, he needs to get charged. He has to get charged. Unless it's something that we don't know. He has to get charged. But am I willing to wait for that to happen? Absolutely. Because I believe in the system. Now, there are a lot of people that don't believe in the system. A lot of people that think the system is broken. Which, if you think it's broken, you shouldn't be asking for him to get uh, indicted anyway. Because you think he's going to get off. I feel with all the things we know now, if he was supposed to go to trial... He would not get off. He couldn't get off. Not with 
a jury of his peers or at least the community members decide in his fate. So I actually believe in the system. But there's a lot of people, if you don't believe in the system, you can't be talking about justice. Now, on the flip side, and that's what I'm saying, I always got to be fair, whether you like it or not. Because even though I'm a little bit outraged by this, I could still see things fairly. Now, justice, justice isn't what you think should happen. Justice is not retribution. It's definitely not revenge. Justice might actually be vindicating this guy and saying he's free. That's what justice is. If you really want justice, you want to know the truth. If you really want justice, you want, if he committed a, uh, uh, he broke a law, you want him to then get arrested and then you, uh, you want him to go to jail and go to jail for a long time. If he didn't, you want him to go free. The mindset I'm seeing right now is that uh, people, I don't, they don't really care the, about the rest of the details or whatever is going to come out later. They just want him locked up and just locked up for life. That's not justice. That sounds like revenge. So what do you really want? Do you want justice or you want revenge? What do you want? Me, I want justice. If he's fucking guilty, we need to get cops like him off the street because he could be doing the same thing to me the next day. However, if, if out of some, and I do admit that the chance of this looks like it's low, say he wasn't, he was right in committing this murder, right? If he was right, okay. Then he's vindicated and I have to accept that because I believe in the system and I believe in justice. That's what it means. Now, for a lot of people are saying, well, 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 well we saw the autopsy and, and, and why isn't he arrested yet? Calm the fuck down. And that's why you can't argue with people who are just quick with emotion. You're mad that he's not arrested because you saw an autopsy, right? Well, that's not what makes him get arrested. And number two, he's not a regular citizen. He's a police officer. Had that been a regular citizen, he'd be he'd probably be arrested. But he's a police officer. When when a police officer is in the field, he's licensed to carry that gun within the authority of his jurisdiction and he's able to use it to apply deadly force based upon the laws that protect him. You can't just say, okay, you killed a guy, you're arrested. No, that doesn't, that's not how it works. Shit doesn't work like that. You don't give the cops a gun, a badge, and whatever else. And when they kill someone, you'll be like, okay, now we're going to arrest you. No, that's not how it works. They have to put the guy on administrative leave. Usually, it is paid. It, they have to assume he's innocent until proven guilty. The, the fact that we want to be afforded those rights, we got to at least say, okay, we are on your ass to make sure you're going to get it right, but whatever. Do it. We want it to be a little bit more speedy. We need to be transparent. We don't want lies coming all over the place. Tell us when you're going to release information. Be speedy. We're going to be on your ass. But we're going to believe in a system and we're going to believe that you're going to bring this guy to justice. And if justice is getting him in jail, he's going to be in jail. If he's going to be free, whatever. That's what it is. That's if you're a fair minded person. But but seriously, what do you guys really want? So. I want you guys to get in the comment box. Um, make sure you guys uh, weigh in on this whole thing. Weigh in on Kajim Powell. And I know I went on a tangent towards talking about whole Mike Brown situation. But weigh in on that as well when it comes to either police brutality or at least justice for everything that's going on right now within Ferguson, Missouri. Now, it's your boy DJ Academics. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe, and definitely share. I'm out.